Uh, good day everyone and welcome to my channel the channel where we make structural engineering design simple and easy my name is Olodu Konyedi and I'm your host I want to say very big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to our channel to those who have been asking questions and those who have really sent encouraging words to us we really appreciate i really appreciate that we've been having a lot of subscribers send us message and questions and we will be answering them so and also i would like to say if you are yet to subscribe to our channel please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button this is the only way you can encourage us to put out more videos more videos so today we have um, one of our subscriber that um, wrote chatted us his name is Sam Seg Sam Seg you didn't tell us where you are commenting from please whenever you are commenting please tell us where you are commenting from if you are from nigeria just tell us the state but if you're outside nigeria please tell us the country you are commenting from you said why is the part design not economical intent of the thickness if i understand your question very well you are asking why is the pad design the pad foundation design not economically intent of the thickness or if the thickness is too big or not if that is your question but if not you can rephrase it and send us back if we we'll answer it or not so today we'll be looking at how to determine the thickness of your pad footing in answering some seg question so sir please tell us where you are commenting from so the main determinant of pad the pad foundation the, the thickness of the pad foundation is the punching shear stress is the punching shear stress your pad must be thick enough to accommodate the maximum asia load coming on it of all the columns the maximum asia load coming on it the thickness must be able to withstand that it must be able to withstand that and to determine your thickness if you look at this formula that we've written this is shear stress v must be equal to n over column parameter times d where vc must be less than 0 0.8 times whatever characteristic concrete strength you are using square root of the characteristic concrete strength you are using multiply by 0 0.8 or 5 which so is the is the biggest so but what we do we could make d the subject formula and either use if our concrete if our concrete strength is um let's say 25 or whatever you use put that as the vc here our new n is the maximum load let's assume if a load of a thousand kilonewton or 500 kilonewton is coming and the parameter of the column which is let's assume 230 by 230 you get the parameter and you make d the, the subject formula whatsoever you arrive whatsoever you arrive the thickness must not be less than d 
so um sum that is how we determine our column thickness is not just of heart but whatever you are doing you must make sure that your column thickness is able to withstand the the loads coming on it so if you come to your prota let's assume this <coughs> Let's assume this. We, we click, right click, insert. And now Prota is bringing 400 mm thick, 400 mm thick slab, 400 mm thick slab. So with this our uh, formula, with this our uh, formula is assuming 400 thick slab here. A 400 mm thick slab so but if we assume whatever we let's say 300 we put 300 300 you say and uh, we say our our bearing capacity is 150 you say calculate the main design for it is this if you look at this these are punching check the punching check you must check at column face which must be less than 4 mm or the v maximum must not be greater than than 4 m a newton per millimeter square or the formula i've said so it's okay but this is the v we are getting 1.71 is less than four or that other one so it must satisfy this it must satisfy this it must satisfy the share for um, the share strength okay let's assume we make this hundred let's assume hundred let's see if whoa so if you look at the punching share he said the section is insufficient because the share the punching share is higher than the maximum it's higher than the maximum um, share is higher than the maximum so okay now you know that that will not work let's see 200 if we do 200 okay it's it's okay but for safety reasons for safety reasons we do the minimum thickness of 300 depending on the load that is coming in depending on the column load that is coming in but if the load is much then you have to increase so if you look carefully this our our column parameter this are our share mm -hmm. and this is how we determine our depth the depth of the 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 footing so your footing must be able some your footing must be able to withstand the share and this is how you determine your thickness of your footing so if if we if we have answered your question please replied let us know if that answered the question but if not still comment so that we know or you rephrase your question but this is how you determine the thickness of your slab so we will stop here and if you are yet to subscribe please hit the subscribe button and hit the uh, like button so that we you will get notified when next we put up any other video thank you and remain blessed